slam, work it back, filter that, baby bump that track, groove slam, work it back, filter that, baby bump that track, groove slam, work it back, spe Hey, so I just filmed a tutorial with the makeup I'm wearing, uh, I'm not sure if you can see, but I'll come closer and bring the light in in a minute, um, very fall inspired, uh, Christmas is next week, no, Thanksgiving is next week, it's really the holiday season, so I did a look inspired by the fall leaves, orange and um, yellows and burgundies and browns, um, and a fall color on my lip and plum cheeks, so, you know, fall stuff. I know everyone's doing a fall tutorial, but it's fall, so, you know, what do you expect? Um, but yeah, so if you want to know how I did this, stay tuned, and let me just come a little bit closer. Bring the lighting in, maybe it'll help. Hmm. My dog's working. Okay, so I've already applied my foundation as usual. And I'm going to start by um, putting some loose powder underneath my eye and all the way up the side. This is just to prevent fallout because I'm using kind of well cheap eyeshadows and they have some glitter in them and they make a mess. You can use whatever you have. Um, yeah, whatever loose powder. This one's translucent for the most part. Now as a base, I'm going to use a uh, white eyeshadow pencil. This one's from Sephora. And I'm just going to put that all over my eyelid. I'm going to work that into the inner corner and also under my lower lash line. Just blend it out a bit so that it doesn't um, crease. With a regular eyeshadow brush, the first color I'm going to use is kind of a um, very shimmery orange. Not kind of, it is a shimmery orange. And I'm just going to pat that onto the middle of my lid. More than a third, maybe half of my lid, but concentrated in the middle. same brush other side I'm going to take a bright yellow this is a satin finish no real shimmer just very um has a nice sheen tap it off of course I'm going to work that on the inner part of my eyelid it's going to go into the inner tear duct area and it's also going to be blended up to the inner crease it's okay if it looks a little funky I'll blend everything together after same brush make sure you wipe it off I'm gonna show you how to do that right now it's real informative towel wipe it off and I'm gonna go in with a maroon color like that but I'm gonna use the tip of the brush that's gonna go on the outer part of my eyelid couldn't remember what eye I was working on and also up into my crease. This is going to place the color and blend it. Now with a pencil brush, I'm going to go in with a dark brown color. like that one. Now I'm going to try to show you. Nope. Nope. There it is. That's going to go right on the outer corner, not really on my lid. I'm going to work that up into my crease, just on the outer part. 
and also under my lower lash line. Pretty much every eyeshadow I'm using does have a shimmer to it, except yellow, but you can use matte colors if you prefer. Just building up the intensity. Now with a fluffy brush that has no shadow on it, just going to blend everything together. Don't blend it up too high, just make sure the colors are um, you know, blended. <laughs> now I'm going to highlight with that same yellow. Any eyeshadow brush is fine. So make a flat top. And that's just going to go all along the top of that color right under my eyebrow. Like, so, oh, just kidding. I'm um, using a dark brown pencil in my waterline, which you can't say, but, you know, I am. And now, liquid liner and mascara. Just going to brush away all that powder and all the fallout that comes with it. <laughs> and I'm just going to clean up the uh, underneath my eye with some concealer. So I can figure out my mirror. This is just going to help brighten that area as well as clean up the lines of the shadow. Now I'm using a blush from um, a brush from Bare Minerals as well as Warmth from Bare Minerals, but any matte bronzer will work for this. And I'm just going to contour. That's what it looks like. Just a tiny bit because this stuff is really pigmented. Just going to work that into the hollows of my cheeks, up into my temples, and my jawline. Wow. I didn't even realize how fast I did that. Just makes your face look a little bit more sculpted. Plus it warms it up a bit. Because I got the winter pasty thing going on. That's where most of the color is concentrated is what I'm trying to say. Now I'm going to use a plum bl uh, blush from CoverGirl and a fluffy brush. Just work it onto my cheeks. I like a lot of blush. Time out, maybe? No, not yet. <laughs> On my lips, I'm just going to use a deep wine colored lipstick. And I'm going to top it off with a nude colored gloss that has a gold shimmer to it. And there you have it. 
Peace out.